Pokemon. Oh, it's just you and me. I know that it's my destiny. Pokemon. Oh, you're my best friend in a world we must defend. All right. First of all, I know I'm late with this video, but on Sunday, February 27th, the Pokemon Company announced a brand new open world experience called Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, set to release on a Nintendo Switch in late 2022. So yeah, we're getting another Pokemon game by the end of this year, and I'm looking forward to it. This will make number two for Pokemon releases this year. I haven't played Arceus yet, but I have heard that the game is pretty good, so I will be picking that up and I will have to check it out before the release of these two games. This next highly anticipated installment of the Pokemon franchise will be the first attempt at an open world setting. And no, technically Sword and Shield was not open world, only the wild areas was, and that needed a lot of work. And we're not talking about Arceus here, we're talking about the main line of Pokemon games. But this time around, Pokemon trainers will be able to find Pokemon in the skies, seas, and on the streets. And along with the new world, Pokemon also announced three new starter Pokemon. Bear with me on these names, guys. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get these first two wrong. The Grass Cat is Spiritigototo, the Fire Croc is Furococo, and the Water Duckling is Quaxly. And I'm pretty sure the only name I got right was Quaxly. But hey, we gonna keep it going, and I'm gonna keep pronouncing these names wrong. You guys just bear with me. So Spirit Goto told the Grass Cat is described as being attention seeking, and he will have the overgrown ability. Fucoco, the fire croc, is a laid back fire breathing crocodile that likes to do things at his own pace. Furococo also has the blaze ability. And last, Quaxly, the water duckling that looks like Donald Duck. No, really, he does look like Donald Duck. If he follows you around in this game, you're probably going to confuse this game with Kingdom Hearts. How come you couldn't forget about that? He can be characterized as being earnest and tidy and will have the turn ability. Although these are only the newly revealed Pokemon, it is rumored that there could be as many as 50 new Pokemon announced before the game arrives later this year. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are a big step for the Pokemon franchise and feature an open world with various towns with no borders blend into the wilderness. The Pokemon Company also notes, as I said earlier, that Pokemon can be seen everywhere in the wide open world, in the skies, in the sea, and in the streets. While of course we don't know all the differences between the two versions, it has been revealed that trainers will have a different outfit depending on which game they are playing. And honestly, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot more than that. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were one of many announcements during the Pokemon Present Showcase, but it's the only thing I wanna talk about from the showcase. I could care less about everything else. Anyways, I'm excited for this game, and I hope that it's way better than Sword and Shield was. Also, I hope this game is harder and makes us grind for everything, cause honestly, Pokemon games are way too easy these days. Me? I'm an old school gamer now, guys. I'm 33 years old, and I came up in the Pokemon Red and Blue days. Those games, you had to actually grind, put in the work to get those badges. These games, they hold your hand, they're just way too easy. It feels like you don't have to do anything and you can beat the game in probably a day. And these are $60 experiences, $60. In Nintendo, you wonder why people use Yuzu to emulate these new Pokemon games. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.